be talking about no such thing as a free lunch. You know, maybe 30 years ago, I was working uh, for the landscaper, and of course in the north uh, where I lived then, in the wintertime, we were laid off. And During that time, somewhere in February, my boss invited me to come. He says, you know what, we've got a training seminar on how to install irrigation systems, and I've I paid for your class if you'd like to come. I was like, sure, great, Al, yeah, well, that'd be that'd be fun. That'd give me something to do. And so I, I drove down to the city and he picked me up in his pickup and we went out into the Poconos for a, for a conference and uh, learned all about uh, irrigation systems, sprinkler heads and pressure regulators and all kinds of technical things that I wasn't quite sure uh, about. And it was real interesting and then came launch and lunchtime they broke and uh, I saw there was a game room over there with a, a pool table and a couple of vending machines so I went over and started playing a little bit of pool and Al came by with a friend of his that he'd met who owned another business and said hey why don't you join us over in the snack bar for some lunch well I was kind of embarrassed I only had a few dollars in my pocket uh, you know trying to pay all the bills for the family and in the winter when I wasn't working I just I didn't have much money with me. So I said, you know what? I think I'm just gonna play pool. I'm not really hungry. I confess, I lied. I was really hungry and it smelled really good, but I just, I didn't have the money to pay for it. And I was too embarrassed to, to ask him for help and I didn't carry credit cards. And so I said, you know what? I just get something from the vending machine. He shrugged his shoulders and said, oh, suit yourself. And they headed off and I got myself a candy bar and a small soda. And uh, that afternoon, as I'm listening to more information about the uh, irrigation systems installation, I'm, boy, I was hungry. I was thinking about going home and having a big hot spaghetti dinner that night when I got home. And finally, conference got over, and I hopped in the truck, and we're riding back. And Al's, he's looking real puzzled, and he's real quiet. And finally, says, "Pete, I, I just don't understand it." He goes, "I paid for this. The, the lunch was was free." He goes, "I can't understand why you didn't have anything." Well. I didn't tell him I, I, because I was really doubly embarrassed by then uh, that I hadn't taken advantage of that free lunch. You know, it's a funny story, but when we look in the Bible in Ephesians, the second chapter, in the eighth verse, God says, it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. This is not your own doing. It's the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. Now, you might think my story is funny, but sometimes we go to church with that same attitude. God is offering us free grace. Uh, when we come to the communion table, there's the bread. He says, this is my body, which is given for you. And then in the same way, he took the cup and he said, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. Uh, it's shed for your sins. And uh, we say, oh, that's okay. I'll, I'll get something here from the vending machine, God. I'm not really hungry. Uh, and we go on our way, trying to do it all in our own works, all in our own energy. But all along, you know, God's paid the price for that. He's inviting you to come and sit at the table with him and to enjoy free lunch at his table because of his amazing grace. Let's, let's remember that song today as we close and sing these words. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I was blind, but now I see. It was grace that taught my heart to fear, and God's grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear. there 10,000 years right
light shining at the sun. We know this day is the same. amazing grace today. Remember, God's already paid the price in full. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Maybe I'll see you uh, when I make my visits this week. Bye-bye.